Greetings and blessings, beautiful people. Today's menu presents my curried shrimps or prawns. Let's jump right in. You're looking at some green cardamom seeds. These bring a piney, very fragrant aroma to this dish that you will love. A little goes a long way, so I'm just crushing it to release its uh, fragrance. That's our first ingredient, followed by some fennel seeds. We're also, of course, going to be needing our curry powder, and I have a homemade recipe linked below if you wanna check it out. Let's not forget our chili powder, followed by some turmeric. Also, smoked paprika, then garam masala. A little bit of that also goes a long way because it's so powerful. The last spice is my crushed white pepper, which works so well with seafood. Now here are my onions. I have lots of shallots, thinly sliced, white onions chopped, as well as some red onions also chopped with habanero chilies. And here is my coconut milk. And I also have some crushed tomatoes, stewed down so it's reduced. And then I also have two tender lemon tree leaves. And I'm going to roll it up and julienne it. In the absence of this, you can use a half a teaspoon of lemon or lime zest. I'm adding that to ginger and garlic paste. We will be using it shortly, so keep on watching, friends. Now I have the main ingredient, my prawns or shrimps, deveined without the shells or the heads and also washed thoroughly, ready to go. Now, let's start. In the wok, I apply some oil and that was coconut oil, by the way, and I add my medley of onions and the habanero chilies. I'm going to fry these until they are caramelized. About two minutes into it, I add some salt as well because that helps to quicken the caramelization phase of this recipe. Keep cooking until you see brown, golden brown happening. You'll be ready for the next step pretty shortly. The onions are working here as the main base of the stew. So a lot of it will go a long way to help you. I have added all my spices we reviewed in the beginning. These need to be cooked. If you don't cook them well, they will be raw and they will be grainy. They will give you a texture you wouldn't really like. So add them at this stage and continue to cook. And as you do that, the flavors and the aromas, the fragrance, they all bloom and they become the best they can be. So this step is necessary. Now we are going to add our tomatoes. So after adding the spices, I cooked it an extra three minutes. This is all on medium heat. Now add the tomatoes and cook it down a little more just to get rid of some of the moisture. And that should take approximately five minutes. And then proceed by adding your garlic paste, ginger paste, and the lemon leaves we julienned in the beginning. Now, if you're wondering why we're using the lemon leaves instead of the actual fruit, let me tell you why. So we want the fragrance or the essence of the citrus plant lemon lime even orange will work here but what we don't want is the acid from the citrus fruit you choose to use in this recipe and the reason is the coconut milk we're about to add right now if we were to add the acid from the citrus fruit lime lemon orange grapefruit or whatever you choose to use then this coconut milk is going to immediately curdle and we do not want it to curdle we want it to remain creamy and help to thicken the sauce and just be luscious and you know just absolutely perfect so yeah you want to be careful with the addition of too much acidity in this recipe for that very reason. So after adding the coconut milk, you're going to cook it still on medium heat until the oils begin to resurface and then add the shrimp. That should take about an extra three minutes. Now you can season your shrimps at this point. Be very light-handed with your seasoning though. What I use is just salt. You can use a bouillon of choice because shrimps come from the ocean so they are briny as i always say now you're going to stir them in 
what we're doing now is poaching these shrimps. All right, so I still have it on medium heat. Stir it in to combine everything, and also, more importantly, to submerge your shrimps and cook it not more than four minutes, friends. We all know what happens to shrimps when you overcook them, right? They become rubbery and not very enjoyable. And you see the sauce is the perfect consistency with a rich and creamy texture, what we were going for to start with. Just look at that. What I'm also doing is immediately transferring my cooked product from the hot wok to prevent further cooking of these shrimps, which we want them to remain tender, juicy, and not overcooked. Just look at that. Now, because this is mostly onion based, the pungency of the spices we used are all slightly mellowed, so it is not an overpowering curry dish at all. You would love this, and I hope that you give it a shot. I also hope that you learned a thing or two today. Thank you so much for watching. What I'm doing now is just sprinkling on some cilantro. You can use any favorite finishing herb of choice to brighten everything in the end. I also went and mopped up all of the remainder of the sauce from the wok by throwing in a medley of vegetables, stir fried it, and we're serving all of this today with some rice. Now the rice is coconut rice and I threw in some cilantro in there so it is a perfect combination. We also fried some sweet plantains or ripened plantains. And that goes so well with the savory aspect of this dish. It's very complimentary. And of course, some vegetables. So I have some cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, and carrots. And the show-stopping moment a generous serving of your curried prawns make sure you add some sauce Did you see all that sauce we were able to form it has the sweet savory citrusy notes it is coconutty it is rich and yet not overpowering and the curried flavor is quite pronounced, but in a mellow kind of way. You would love this recipe, like I said. I hope you give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes, friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.